I think a lot of the everyday ways we interact with maps, right, we think of them as this like neutral objective tool. Um, but in a lot of ways, um, maps have tremendous representational power, right? Um, they've been used to extract resources, to erase communities, to um, invisibilize histories, right? And um, I think a lot of our work in the project is really thinking about how to activate the representational and political potential of map making. So uh, the Anti-Eviction Mapping Project is a volunteer collective. We have chapters in New York City, Los Angeles, and San Francisco Bay Area. Um, and the kind of at the core of what we do, we produce maps and narrative work about gentrification, displacement, and resistance. The project emerged in 2013 during um, a moment in the San Francisco Bay Area of heightened evictions. Um, and largely in response to what's colloquially known as the tech boom 2.0. The project has produced dozens of maps um, that um, are really targeted at using um, uh, data to support um, anti-gentrification and tenant struggles. Um, and we produce our maps in partnership with grassroots organizers, um, really in an effort to think through ways technology can be used and leveraged in anti-gentrification fights. We often use the term counter mapping to describe the work that we do. Um, so really thinking through ways the maps that we make can be a tool to curb re predatory real estate practices um, and also to expose the material consequences of gentrification that um, on a more objective or neutral map wouldn't be made visible. We're really invested in as a collective not producing just maps for map sake or just releasing data um, just to have it be kind of floating out in the world but really thinking through ways we can produce um, maps that are accompanied by um, action and um, support building momentum behind local tenant fights and struggles. Um, my Staying Power project, which is similarly intended to um, center the first person narratives of NYCHA residents um, and was really informed by a, a map that we made um, in 2018 called the Worst Evictors NYC map. Um, and one of the things that that map surfaced is that NYCHA um, was one of the top evictors um, in 2018. Um, and although it's a lot more difficult, right, to put a face to NYCHA evictions in the way that you can with a private landlord, um, in thinking through a project to um, implement with my laundromat project residency, I was really interested in thinking through ways I could sort of use those same narrative-based tools to um, think through the current state of NYCHA and, um, and create space for residents to really drive the narratives around um, their lived experiences in public housing.